Hello everyone. Welcome to Fireshock. There was news recently about Uber being hacked and data being compromised. So how did that happen? What were the reasons for this hack and what were the repercussions? Let's find out. So on September 16th, about 6.55 a.m., Uber itself reported that they are currently responding to a cybersecurity incident and that they are in touch with the law enforcement. This actually corroborates that there in indeed was a cybersecurity incident and they are dealing with it. Now, how did this happen? The thing is, the attack was done by a 18-year-old teenager. How did he do it? He somehow got access to the WhatsApp details about an Uber employee and he used that to employ his social engineering skills. He got in conversation with them and he somehow got them to sign in on a phishing page which resembled the original Uber page and the employee unknowingly signed in and sent those credentials to the hacker. The hacker did not immediately try to sign in because there is another problem at hand. If you try to sign in using those credentials, there is a two-factor authentication process. But unlike a multi-factor authentication where you have to type in an OTP, here the user just needs to tap a prompt to accept or deny the authentication. So how he got around it he himself shared screenshots about how he did it. So he spammed the employee with push notifications over hours. And uh, the employee himself got tired and fatigued. Now the attacker himself, claiming to be from Uber IT, contacted on WhatsApp the Uber employee and told them that if they wanted to get rid of these prompts, they will have to accept it. And that the Uber IT will resolve this. So initially the employee kept saying no, but uh, since the attacker kept on pushing those authentication requests, eventually, maybe by accident, maybe from fatigue, the Uber employee tapped accept and that was done. The attacker got access to the Uber's Slack channel. Now what is Slack? Now Slack is a platform which Uber uses for its internal communications. So that is where the attacker got access to. So after signing into the Slack's platform, the attacker himself sent a message on the channel that he announced that he is a hacker and that Uber has suffered a data breach. He also go, went on to mention that Stack has been stolen, confidential data with Confluence, Stash and two monorepos from Fabricator have also been stolen along with secrets from sneakers. And he also claims that Uber underpays their drivers. So that is what he leaked on that Slack channel also. Now this was a stuff for memes as well. People started making fun of this because they did not initially believe that a hack indeed did happen. Now what did he do after that? Well, he goes on to explain in his own screenshots that he got access to other services using a PowerShell script. He found this PowerShell script within the Slack channel wherein files were shared amongst the employees. This PowerShell script contained the admin user credentials for various services. Now this was a gold mine what he got. He used that admin credentials to log into other services and he also posted on Uber's behalf that Uber has been hacked, domain name, AWS admin, vSphere admin, G Suite SA and this hacker one account has also been hacked. So the hacker himself shared screenshots about how he did it with the news channels and he also posted certain comments, yeah, certain posts on Uber's page, on Slack channel and various services. He got access to some sensitive data and uh, the extent of the data breach is still being investigated by Uber.